1857, a group of engineers drew up a plan for an international railway to link Switzerland's capital city, Bern, through the High Alps to Italy. Over 130 years later, the dream is high-speed reality, with Eurocity express trains and heavy international freight trains vying for space on this increasingly busy alpine crossing that forms the very heart of the bern lutschberg simplon railway. If we look at a diagrammatic map of the railway system, we can see that the BLS group comprises a number of different railways. The line that runs from Bern to Thun through Belp is known as the gerbertal bern schwarzenberg Railway, whilst the direct line to Thun from Bern is owned by the Swiss Federal Railways. The GBS, together with the bern neuenberg and the spiertz ellenbach schweizimmen Railways, are bern decree Railways and are operated as associated companies of the BLS. It's possible to see the rolling stock of all these companies throughout the BLS system. And because of complicated working arrangements with the Swiss Federal Railways, the BLS stock can be seen on mixed express trains in Baal, Zurich, and of course on the direct line between Bern and Thun. Likewise, Federal Railways locomotives and stock are regularly seen on the BLS system. The BLS operates one of Switzerland's most important traffic routes. And where better to start a journey on the BLS than in the ancient capital city of Bern, which is one of the busiest rail interchanges in the country. At the north end of the modern station, the sidings contain stock from both the BLS and the Federal Railways.
express and local trains come and go in a steady flow of traffic serving Zurich, Baal and beyond into Central Europe. Amidst the hustle and bustle, BLS trains head out for Interlaken and over the Lodgeberg to Brig. To the south of the station, the GBS dispatches its trains to Thun via Belp and to a terminus at Schwarzenberg. After passing the BLS locomotive depot, the routes divide at Außerholigen. These services are mostly worked by superbly kept modern multiple unit electrics. At Schwarzenberg, the old steam locomotive number 51 of the Bern Schwarzenberg Bahn provides a sharp contrast to the clean, aerodynamic lines of the new BLS rolling stock. Number 51 was built in 1906 and last saw service at a cement works in 1970. This pleasant little town of some 3,000 inhabitants is well served by the frequent service to Bern. On the other route from Außerholigen, Belp is served by all trains that pass down the beautiful Gerbertal Valley on their way to Thun.
platoon is considered by many to be the true starting point of the BLS, although the station is owned by the Federal Railways. Outside the station, ships belonging to the BLS wait in the shadow of the ancient castle to take their loads of summer passengers on a pleasant cruise around the Lake of Thun. Other passengers arrive at Thun on the bright red modern trains of the Emmental Bergdorf Thun Railway. Transportation to outlying villages is supplied from the station forecourt in the form of regular bus services. These include buses of the Steffisberg Thun Interlaken Company, which replace trolley buses, and the Thun Heiligen Schwendi Company services. At the southern end of the station, the trains sweep past the old locomotive depot. Spitz is one of the most important traffic centers of the BLS. Set high above the town, the station has a magnificent view of Lake Thun and the Niederhorn, which rises to 6,394 feet on the opposite side of the lake. Easily visible from the platform is the symmetrical cone of the Niesen, 7,749 feet above sea level.
the busy station is full of activity. Trains are divided and connections made for the lines to Interlaken and Schweizsimmen. Shunters potter busily about their mysterious affairs, controlled from a modern nerve center situated to the north of the station. Here too, at Spiertz, the BLS divides once again. The line to Interlaken and Bonnigan running down a steep gradient past Faulensee to join the south shore of Lake Thun. For most of the way now, the tracks of the BLS follow the curving shoreline of the lake and pass through the small station of Lysigen. In a small bay of the lake stands Darligan Station, which was once the terminus of the railway where freight and passengers alike transferred to ships for the continuing journey to Interlaken.
Today, the ships of the BLS carry visitors from all over the world, across the enchanting lake of Thun, past fairy tale castles and quiet harbours. The boats terminating at the boat station alongside the busy railway station at Interlaken West. <laughs> 